Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2016 American fantasy and adventure movie called Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. The movie begins in 1926 when a dark wizard named Grindelwald is threatening the magical community in Europe, risking a war with humankind, or so-called no major since then, all wizards and witches from all around the world, including Hogwarts, have increased their security and alert. The scene moves to a British man named Newt Scamander, who always brings a magical briefcase full of fantastic beasts with him, is embarking from London to New York City. Upon arrival, he manages to pass the security check by switching the briefcase's mode, so that it looks like a normal briefcase. Meanwhile, in New York, authorities are inspecting a building that has been torn through. A witness claims that the building was destroyed by a dark mysterious creature that has a shape like a moving wind. Not long after, the building's wall starts cracking and an unseen force charges underground, fissuring part of the streets. Back to Newt, he explores New York and comes across a lady, Mary Lou, and other Second Salemers supporters, who are spreading hate news about magic and how wizards and witches could be a threat to humankind. Factory worker Jacob Kowalski tries to walk through the crowd and accidentally kicks Newt's briefcase. This action catches the lady's attention. While talking with her, Newt notices that a fantastic beast called Niffler has escaped from the briefcase. He immediately chases after the creature into the bank, but eventually loses sight of it. He then meets Jacob again and eventually drops an egg before leaving him. Niffler keeps stealing jewelry and coins from the bank visitors while Newt keeps searching for it. Turns out that Jacob is trying to get a loan to open up a bakery, but gets rejected as he cannot propose anything as collateral. Newt spots Niffler entering a lift, but suddenly Jacob shouts at him, telling him that the egg he is holding is hatching. Newt panics and teleports them to some place inside the bank. The confused Jacob has no choice but to follow Newt to the underground bunker. After opening the vault with his magic wand, Newt finally captures Niffler, but suddenly the bank guards come to the vault, forcing Newt to flee with the teleportation. The wizard prepares to obliviate Jacob, which will erase his memories, but he hits Newt with the briefcase and runs away. Afterward, Newt is confronted by Tina, a witch who has been observing Newt in the bank and also works for the Magical Congress of the United States of America or Makusa. She arrests him for using magic in front of humans or no major and brings him to Makusa headquarters. At the same time, Makusa president Serafina Pickery, and the others are concerned about the attack earlier, afraid that it could lead to a war between them and no major Tina and Newt arrive at the room, but the president is not happy with her presence as she is no longer working for Makusa as an auror, or a dark wizard catcher. Tina then takes Newt to her old office where they are confronted by Graves. When he demands to see the briefcase, they find that it is Jacob's briefcase, which is full of pastries. Jacob returns home and accidentally opens Newt's briefcase, releasing several fantastic beasts. Newt and Tina are walking around the city when Newt discovers Jacob's room, which is partially destroyed, and finds Jacob unconscious. Turns out that he was bitten by a Mertlap. He then repairs the building with magic. After that, the pair take Jacob away from the apartment while throwing one of the escape creatures back to the briefcase. On the other hand, Mary Lou turns out operating an orphanage while spreading hate about magic to the children. She then brings several children, including emotionally damaged boy Credence to meet Senator Henry Shaw and his father, the leader of a leading newspaper company, but they are dismissed while being insulted as a freak. Tina takes Jacob and Newt to her house. As soon as they arrive, Jacob is immediately smitten with Tina's sister, Queenie, who is able to read people's minds. Meanwhile, Credence secretly meets Graves, who orders him to locate a child with immense power he foresaw and promises him that he will teach him magic if he fulfills the mission. After having a sweet dinner together, Jacob and Newt are given a room to stay overnight. That evening, Newt gets inside his magical briefcase and asks Jacob to join him. He treats Jacob's wound with magical herbs and introduces a thunderbird named Frank to Jacob. He reveals that the real reason he came to America is to bring Frank home to Arizona. He then shows the human the entire landscape inside the briefcase, which is dwelled by various fantastic beasts. One of them is Okami, a creature that hatched from the egg earlier. While Jacob attempts to feed the creatures by himself, he comes across a snowy room where he spots a dark entity called Obscurus encased in a bubble. Newt warns him to stay away from it as it is a very dangerous entity. Jacob then agrees to help Newt retrieving the missing creatures as he is the one who knows well about New York places. While walking across the street, they coincidentally find Niffler who is trying to pose as a sculpture inside a jewelry store. Newt chases after the creature throughout the store, which ends up destroying the whole store. He finally is able to capture Niffler when it tries to run away. The cops arrive, 
but they are distracted by a lion walking in the street, so they use this opportunity to teleport away. They spot another missing creature, a rumpant, wandering around the city in nude attempts to lure it with strange and silly movement. However, the beast sees Jacob and goes after him. Luckily, Newt manages to pull it back into the briefcase just before it strikes Jacob with its enormous body. Tina, who realizes the boys are missing, silently follows them and takes the briefcase with her when she has the chance. On the other side, a formal meeting is held for Senator Henry Shaw to promote himself in the next U.S. presidential election when suddenly an unseen dark force appears, wreaking havoc the entire room before grabbing Henry and slamming it to the ground, killing him instantly. Henry's brother, Langdon, is aware that this is witchcraft. Tina brings the briefcase to Makusa headquarters, where suddenly Jacob and Newt emerge from the briefcase. Newt realizes that Henry was killed by an obscurial, but no one believes him. Graves then impound the briefcase and has three of them arrested. While locked up, Newt and Tina explain that an obscurus is an uncontrollable aggressive dark force developed in a young wizard or witch whose magic is suppressed, or called obscurial. Newt adds that an obscurial can't survive past the age of 10. A few moments later, Graves discovers an obscurus inside the briefcase. Because of that, Newt is sentenced to death alongside Tina who is accused of helping him. Newt and Tina are brought into a room where a witch extracts Tina's memories to lure her into the death pool. One of the memories is Tina attacking Mary Lou and comforting Credence. Newt manages to free himself with the help of a creature and eliminates the witches in the room. He eventually rescues Tina and escapes from the room. Meanwhile, Queenie senses something wrong is happening, thus he releases Jacob. Both of them then sneak into a room and retrieve Newt's briefcase. The four reunite and Queenie suggests Tina, Newt, and Jacob get into the briefcase. Afterward, she sneaks them out from the headquarters with confidence. Credence, who is freaked out, meets up again with Graves. He urges him to continue locating the Obscurial, also saying that he will be honored among wizards forever after the mission is completed. Meanwhile in the orphanage, Credence finds a toy wand inside Modesty's bedroom. Mary Lou suddenly confronts them, thinking that the wand belongs to Credence and breaking it in front of them. Realizing that his adoptive mother is going to beat him up again, Credence becomes unstable and starts attacking her ruthlessly with the Dark Force. Since the last missing creature, a demiguise, is invisible, Tina brings Newt to a speakeasy to meet Narlock, hoping that he can give some information. However, the goblin demands something to trade and he wants a hand-sized bow truckle named Picket resting in Newt's jacket pocket. Newt initially refuses and attempts to offer other things, but gets rejected. He then reluctantly hands over the bow truckle to him and Narlock informs him to check out a department store. Suddenly, Aurors of Makusa arrives at the bar. Turns out Narlock silently tipped them off. The situation becomes chaotic and Newt uses this opportunity to retrieve Pickett and the group escape from the speakeasy. They head over to the department store and find Demiguys, who is babysitting another creature. Turns out that Newt is miscounted and an Akumi shows up from the ceiling. Since Akumis adjust their body size to fill up the available space, Newt orders Jacob and Tina to find an insect to lure him into a teapot. After the creature causes some trouble into the store, Jacob eventually grabs a cockroach and tosses it into the teapot. The Akumi sees that and immediately shrinks as it charges into the teapot. All missing beasts are now retrieved and Newt invites the others to have a look into the briefcase. Graves arrives at the orphanage and finds the terrified Credence. He concludes the kid he has been searching for his modesty. Upon arrival at Credence abandoned family home, Graves betrays Credence, saying he is unteachable and useless. Just after Graves finds modesty, the boy's rage intensifies and is disappointed with the man. He suddenly transforms and flies away from there, leaving a trail of destruction behind him. Newt spots the Obscurial and goes after him as he doesn't want to let Makusa kill him. He reveals Credence is the strongest Obscurial alive as he manages to live until that age. While Tina distracts Graves, Newt follows the Obscurial into an underground tunnel when he attempts to calm Credence down. The Aurors notice this and immediately head over to the scene. As Creedence slowly transforms into human form again, suddenly Graves appears and repeatedly attacks Newt, causing the boy to return into the obscurial form. Tina arrives at the tunnel and manages to calm him down, but the Makusa president and the Aura show up, firing towards him ruthlessly and eventually destroying him. After that, Graves scolds Makusa for their outdated laws and refuses to bow down to the rules any longer. The president then orders Aurors to relieve Graves of his wand, but the man fights back and attacks the Aurors. Newt summons a fantastic beast and subdues Graves while Tina takes his wand from him. Newt casts Revelio on him, revealing Graves' real identity, which turns out to be Grindelwald. Makusa then arrests him. Since Credence has caused a huge damage across the town, 
Newt has to summon Frank and uses it to take a memory wiping potion into the sky, turning it into rain and obliviating the whole citizens. At the same time, Aurors also repair the destroyed building with their magic. The president thanks Newt for his assistance, but she reminds him to obliviate Jacob as well since there is no exception. Jacob says his final goodbye to his friends in tears before stepping into the rain and forgetting anything. Queenie also gives him a warm goodbye kiss. Since then, everything goes back to normal and Jacob continues his life as a factory worker. Newt bumps into him anonymously and drops a briefcase full of Akumi eggs. He leaves a note, telling him to offer the eggs as collateral and pursue his dream to open up his own bakery. Not long after, Newt returns to London to finish a manuscript titled Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. He says goodbye to Tina and promises her that he will send a copy of it to her. At the end of the movie, Jacob finally is able to open his own bakery and shapes his breads to look like some of the fantastic beasts he vaguely remembers. Queenie visits the shop and Jacob smiles a little when he sees her. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.